So the movement from this storm is not actually going to be in West Virginia, but a part of it is going to cause some storms for us, right? That's absolutely right, Daniel. A spinoff ahead of this area of low pressure that's been dropping the snowfall into California will eventually bring itself into the Great Lakes, and that's how we'll get some unstable weather this week. And the Storm Prediction Center has already hey, indicated... Jason. Jason Hurst, good to see you, buddy. <laughs> so the Storm Prediction Center has already indicated a slight risk of severe weather into Kentucky. Now, this means that there could be a narrow line of gusty thunderstorms Monday afternoon. Now, what happens is a cold front will be coming through later. And while the conditions will be pretty warm with some warmer weather this week, that will make things unstable and mostly into Central Kentucky, but also some of our eastern counties here, Lewis County, Kentucky, one area that is in that slight risk. A marginal risk extends as you get closer to West Virginia as well. A rumble of thunder or two and some gusty winds still likely as well on Monday with that storm system. But nice weather tomorrow. Nice weather tomorrow on your Sunday. Partly sunny skies, warming up into the 50s. And we are above normal. It's a little warmer tomorrow than it was today. It's still pretty cool with some cloud cover developing in the afternoon. So about a 6 or 7 out of 10 on our naughty or nice meter. Tomorrow is the Reptile Expo. This is going on at West Virginia State University. A great afternoon into the 50s, just like I mentioned. Mostly sunny skies, southwesterly winds, a very dry and pleasant day, as it won't be as sticky later on in the afternoon. On to the radar and satellite. A lot less cloud cover than there was last night. The clouds have really thinned out. But looking back into the middle of the country, just around the four corners, this is where that low pressure will eventually develop. And that will become our next storm system as this slides into the Great Lakes region. And some warm air out of the southern part of the country leads up ahead of that cold front as well for Monday. So on to the future cast. Clouds start to thin out. Could be a little bit frosty in the higher elevated surfaces for Sunday, but a nice day ahead. Very dry temperatures in the 50s by the afternoon. Gets a little bit unsettled into Monday. This is a warm front. That's the initial warm air that will start to make its way in. Now, behind that warm front, notice there's a lot of showers. 530, perhaps a rumble of thunder here from Ripley down to Charleston, even to points east. The cold front makes its way through and brings us much more stable weather, but cooler for Tuesday as well. Not as warm for Tuesday down into the 60s and upper 50s for most of us. And not very windy tomorrow. Wind gusts pretty good, just not a whole lot for your Saturday. But notice on for or your Sunday, but notice on Monday, things do get more interesting. This is even before the cold front passes. We could have 30 mile an hour wind gusts and even 45, 50 back into Kentucky. So a windy day even ahead of those storms is very likely as well. For tonight, lows in the 30s, pretty chilly out there, but partly cloudy skies, much more dry conditions than what we've been having as well from yesterday. So on to the seven day forecast. Warmer temperatures, a bit unstable. Monday in the 70s, that's when we have a storm system. Thursday in the 60s again. Windy ahead of another opportunity for storms. And also, March 1st on Wednesday, looking very nice and warm. A nice day, sunny skies. Very enjoyable weather to be outside before it gets cooler come the end of next week. So looking to be Friday, temperatures in the 50s again. An opportunity for a few rain showers as another storm system approaches. But still in the 50s in the next weekend, which is normal for this time of the year, with mostly sunny skies into next weekend and some cooler weather as well.